Hi, and welcome to this edition of Ask Bahar. I'm Bahar Sadat, and joining me from Davidson and Company is Arez Bahar. Hi, Arez Hart. Can you guys make them a little bigger, please? Oof, that's better. Thank you. Arez, today's question from our viewing audience is, what is stock-based compensation? Yeah, so, so stock-based compensation, Bahar, is the whole concept of putting a value to options that companies grant, either their employees or their consultants, on the income statement. So the history there is that if you remember back in the dot-com days, a lot of companies were granting options to employees and it was good for them because they weren't paying out cash. It was really good for the employees too because the employees at that time would sell the stock at a higher price because in those days, a lot of stocks were higher flying. So then the accounting world, of course, comes back and says, whoa, whoa, whoa yo, wait a second here, you know, we, we got to put a value on these things. So. That's what that stock-based compensation is meant to do, put value on options granted. Okay, now, so I understand the Black-Scholes model is the valuation model that's commonly used to get to this result. Can you tell us a bit more about it, please? Yeah, so the Black-Scholes model is named after these two guys, right? Fisher Black and Myron Scholes, right? And these two super kind of geeky economist type of guys, very complex guys, and they came up with this formula that's meant to measure it. The problem there, of course, is that that formula is meant for more derivatives or call options and so on, but since they came up with it, it's been widely accepted in the industry and pretty much most companies use it now. Okay, but you know, when I talk to company executives around town, everybody's complaining that this method creates such a high recorded expense. Why is that? Yeah, so that's a good point. I mean, the, the two things on that one is volatility and term of the option. So for smaller public companies, um, volatility is very high and the term is long. And because of this, it yields these huge expenses on the income statement. Now, by using this Black-Scholes model, we're supposed to end up with a fair value, right? Yeah, fair value, you know, fair value for accounting standards, yes. Is it actually fair? Well, yeah, it depends what you mean by fair. I mean, you know, is it fair? Well, Arez, we all know that what I think is fair is actually fair, but just for the terms of this discussion, you need to think it's fair and I need to think it's fair. I don't know if I think it's fair, Bahar, you know, but it's kind of what we got. It's the model we use. So why know? are we still using it? Why don't you just come up with something else? I, I've got the same confusion as you on that one. I mean, there's just no other alternative right now. So people have just accept it the way it is. Well, it's ridiculous. Well, you know, it's, what do you mean? It's, it's the way it is. It's just the rules. Are you talking back to me? No, it's not that I'm talking back to you. I'm just, a I'm just, smaller no. again, please. That's all the time we have today on Ask Bahar. Please mm -hmm. do send us your audit and accounting questions to askbahar at davidson-co.com. I'm Bahar Sadat and Arez Bahar, signing out. <laughs>